Lesson 1. Asking a friend about car insurance. What car insurance company did you decide to go with when you bought your new car? State Farm seemed like the best deal for me. How did you make that decision? I compared the rates and services available. Where can I get help in figuring out what I need to purchase for coverage? You can pick up a pamphlet at your insurance company that will explain the options to you. What did you decide to cover yourself for? I pretty much cover the average amount in all categories as the agent recommended. How many times have you actually used your insurance? I was in an accident, but it was the other person's fault and their insurance covered it. Lesson 2. Asking a friend about car insurance. When you insured your car, what kind did you buy? I decided to buy from GEICO. What influenced your choice of companies? I looked at the customer satisfaction rating of the company. Wow, how did you figure out what service to buy? Every individual has different considerations. Your agent can help you understand what you need to think about. What did you place an emphasis on when you bought your insurance? I carry a lot of liability insurance because I own a house and need to protect it from a lawsuit. Now, did you ever get into an accident and need your insurance? I was in an accident and was happy that I had good insurance to cover it. Lesson 3. Asking a friend about car insurance. What kind of insurance do you have? I went with Automobile Club. Why did you choose that company? I looked at the price of the type of insurance that I wanted. What should I think about in choosing coverage? There are websites that will figure out what coverage is right for you. What did you end up buying then? Well, my car is old, so I didn't worry so much about what it would cost to repair it. I did buy a lot of coverage for fixing someone else's car. I see. Have you ever had to use your insurance? Luckily, I never had to use my insurance. Lesson 4, at the window of the DMV. Hi, could you tell me what window I should go to? Do you have an appointment? Yes, I have an appointment. The DMV windows are set up for different tasks. What are you here to do? I need to transfer ownership of a used car. I can see that you have all of your forms filled out. Drop the forms in that box, and I will call you when your name comes up. Okay, thanks for helping me. You are welcome. May I see your current driver's license? Here's my license. It is not a very good picture of me. That's a pretty good picture. Just pay the fee over at the last window and you're done. Lesson 5, at the window of the DMV. This is my first time at the DMV, and I don't know what window to go to. It depends on what you were doing. Did you make an appointment? I made an appointment last month. All of the windows are for specific services. What do you need to do today? I just bought a used car and need to transfer the ownership. If you just put all of your filled out forms in the drop box, your name will be called when it comes up. Thank you. That helps me to know what to do. My pleasure. The only other thing I need is your current driver's license. Okay, here's my license. It is a very old picture of me. You look good in that picture. Take this over to the last window to pay your fee, and you finish registering your car. Lesson 6, at the window of the DMV. Could you help direct me to the proper window? There are different windows for different things. Did you make an appointment on the internet? I made an appointment over the internet. Different windows will be able to help you with different problems. What do you need help with? I need help transferring the ownership of a new car from my friend to myself. The sign forms go in the box, and I will call your name in a few minutes. Thank you for making it seem less confusing. If you would give me your current driver's license, I will be able to complete the transfer process. Well, here is my license. I never really liked that picture. 
That is a great picture. Take the forms over to the last window to pay your fees and you're finished. Lesson 7. How to pay for the used car. I am buying a used car and don't know much about financing it. I can help you. Do you have a down payment? Yes, I have saved up $3,000 for a down payment. Good, because you will not be able to get a loan without putting some money down on the car. I don't know where exactly to get a loan. Other than friends or family, you can go to a bank, credit union, or use the dealer financing if you bought the car off of a car lot. What is the best choice for financing? It depends. The worst financing deal is usually at the dealer, but they will oftentimes give you a loan when a bank turns you down. What do I need to have with me when I apply for the loan? You need a recent pay stub and a copy of the pink slip for the car before the loan is complete. You'll need to show proof of insurance. Good luck! Lesson 8. How to pay for the used car. Can you help me learn about financing options for a used car? I would love to help you with what I know. I'm assuming that you have a down payment? Yes, I already borrowed some money from my parents for the down payment. That will work. A bank or finance company will not loan you money without a down payment. I'm not sure who will loan me money. You can apply for a loan at a bank, credit union, or approach the used car dealer who sold you the car. You might also try family and friends. Who offers the best interest rate? A credit union will usually give you the best interest rate, but the dealer will almost always give you some type of loan. Do I need any documents when I apply for a car loan? Be sure that you take a recent pay stub and a copy of the pink slip. You will have a few days to produce proof of insurance. Enjoy your new car. Lesson 9. How to pay for the used car. I need help figuring out how to pay for a used car that I'm thinking of buying. I'd be happy to help you. Have you saved up a down payment? I'll be getting money from selling my old car. You really need that money so that a bank or finance company will loan you the rest of the money that you need. Who gives loans out to people wanting to buy cars? Usually people go to a bank, credit union, or if they bought that car at a car lot, they might use the dealer finance company. What is the best place to get financing? The dealer will charge you a higher interest rate, but sometimes they are your only choice if you are just starting out. Will I need some documentation when I apply for the loan? Just make sure that you bring them your last pay stub and a copy of the pink slip. You can then work on getting insured. Enjoy your new car. Lesson 10. Deciding to buy the car. The car handles very well and is a good deal. It seems to be a good choice for you. You might want to have a mechanic take a look at it just to be sure. My friend is a mechanic and he came and looked at it for me this morning. That was smart of you to think ahead. Have you and the seller agreed upon a price? Yes, he is willing to accept that price I offered him. Have you thought about how you're going to pay for your car? I saved up enough money to pay cash for this car. You really thought this through. Why don't I go with you to make the payment and drive your car home for you? That would make it a lot easier for me. Let's go take care of that right now. I really want to see your new car. Lesson 11. Deciding to buy the car. That car is exactly what I want, so I probably should buy it. From what I see, it's a good deal. Should a mechanic check it out for you? A mechanic looked at it for me on Tuesday when I first looked at it. It's good that you took care of that. Have you agreed upon a price with the seller? Yes, he was willing to lower his price a bit, and I am good with that. Do you know how you are going to pay for this car? Yes, I have already pre-qualified for a loan with my credit union. You are very well prepared. I could go with you to talk to the seller and help you get your car home. I appreciate the offer of help. It was my pleasure to help you. I am looking forward to riding in your new car. Lesson 12, Deciding to Buy the Car.
I really like that car and I'm thinking of buying it. Yes, I agree. Do you want to take it to the mechanic to have it checked out? I already took care of that yesterday. That's good. Have you discussed the price with the seller? Yes, I think we've agreed upon a fair price. Have you set up your financing to pay for this car? Yes, my parents are going to loan me the money. That's good. What w Would you like me to go talk to the seller with you and drive your car home? That would be of great help. Glad to be of help. I can't wait to see your new car. Lesson 13. Negotiating a price with a dealer. How much does this car cost? Well, come on in, and we'll sit down and discuss that right now. How much do you want to pay? I really was just wondering what the price is. Well, figuring in tax, license, dealer prep, and registration, I can let this car go for $15,000. I was thinking a little lower than that. Wow, let's keep talking here. I am sure we can work something out. What price are you thinking is fair? I was thinking more like $13,000. You know, you look like you are a sweet kid. I'll give it to you for $14,000. That would be a good price if the car was in great shape, but it is registered as having been in an accident. Okay, $13,750, and that's my final offer. Lesson 14. Negotiating a price with a dealer. If I want to buy this car, what will it cost me? Let me get my contract out, and we'll figure that out for you right now. Can't you just tell me what it costs? You know, I'm prepared to offer you a great deal today on that car. With tax, license, registration, and dealer prep, the total will be $15,000. Fine. I'll come back later with my father, who is a lawyer, and we can talk then. I am sure that we can work something out. What price were you thinking would be a good deal for you? 13000 would be more like it. 14000 for this car is a good price. For that, I'm practically giving it away. Normally that would be a good price, but that car has been in an accident. Yes, I see your point. $13,750 is my final offer. Lesson 15. Negotiating a price with a dealer. How much money for this car? Yes, that car is beautiful, isn't it? Come on inside and we'll discuss the price. I just want to know the price. $15,000 out the door. What a deal. That will, of course, include tax, license, registration, and dealer prep. I appreciate your help, and I'll see you later. Oh, you look like a smart person. What price would be fair to you? I think that $13,000 would be fair for this car. I can see that you are a smart buyer. $14,000 is my best price. If the car hadn't been in an accident... That would be a good price, but it has a few minor problems. 13750 is my final offer. Lesson 16. Detecting a problem with the car. I want to buy this used car, but I need help figuring out if there are any problems with it. I can help you with that. Drive the car over by the garage and we'll check it out. I know some things to look for, but I know there are other things to look for too. Always start with looking for signs of major damage that may have been repaired and also check tire wear. If the car has been in a major accident, that should have been recorded online, right? Right. All major accidents should have been recorded. Next, start the car up, pop the hood, and we'll take a look at the belts and hoses. I would like for you to take a test drive with me. We'll do that in a minute, but first we should check that the radio, turn signals, and all the lights work properly. As we drive, what am I checking for? You want to check to make sure the alignment is good, that the engine accelerates smoothly, and that the car can safely brake to a stop. I like knowing what to look for when buying a used car, and I appreciate the help. 
this car is in good shape and you should give yourself no major problem. Enjoy it. Lesson 17, detecting a problem with the car. Could you take a few minutes and see if there are any problems with this used car that I am thinking of buying? I am happy to help. Just pull up and we'll give it a good look. I don't know much about cars. We need to look inside and outside for signs of an accident or major damage. Also, we need to look for wear on the tires. If I go online, I can also check to see if the car has been involved in a major accident. Yes, you can check the history of the car online. Next, we need to turn the engine and take a look at the belts and hoses. Will you take a drive with me to check handling? A test drive would be good, but first, let's make sure that the turn signals, radio, lights, and seats work properly. On a test drive, what should I look for? We are checking for solid braking and good overall handling. I appreciate you helping me figure out what to look for. My pleasure. This seems to be a solid car and a good choice for you. Lesson 18. Detecting a problem with the car. I was thinking about buying this used car and was wondering if you would take a look at it for me to see if it has any problems. Sure. Pull up over there and we'll take a look. I just wasn't sure what to look for. The first thing you need to do is look for any signs of wear both inside and out. We will also look at the body for signs of major repair. Someone told me that I could go online and see if the car is listed as having been in a major accident. Yes, that's right. Next, we will turn on the engine and we will check under the hood to look at the hoses and belts. Should we take the car for a drive? Yes, but before we pull away, let's check to make sure that the radio, turn signals, lights, and seats all work properly. As I am driving, what should I be checking? You want to make sure that the brakes don't pull to one side and that the car has good alignment and acceleration. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Enjoy driving your car. Lesson 19, Title Transfer. I don't really know all that much about the paperwork involved in buying a used car. If you're a member of the Automobile Club, they can help guide you through the process or just go to the DMV website. What is the big picture of what I will need to take care of? The car has a pink or rainbow certificate of title, which both the buyer and seller need to sign. They also both need to fill out the change of ownership form. Who pays the fees to transfer the ownership? The buyer must pay all of the fees. Will it be really expensive to transfer the title? The DMV will calculate the fees for you when you submit the paperwork. What about smog certificate? No, your car was built after 1974, so you will be fine. Where can I turn in my forms? If you are a member of the Automobile Club, you can turn in your forms to them. Lesson 20, Title Transfer. Can you help me figure out how to transfer the title of the car I wish to buy so it will be registered in my name? You can go to the DMV website for information, or if you're a member of the Automobile Club, they can be very helpful. Can you just fill me in on what needs to be done? When you both fill out and sign a change of ownership form and sign the certificate of title, the ownership will be transferred. Are there any fees involved? As the buyer, you are responsible for all of the fees. How much money will I have to pay to transfer the title? The only way to calculate the fee is to turn your paperwork into the DMV, and they will figure it out for you. Do I need to take the car in for a smog certificate? No, your car is a newer model, so you won't need that. Whom do I give my forms to when they are completed? Lesson 21, Title Transfer. So, now that I've decided to buy this car, how do I transfer the title to myself? Actually, your best bet is to contact the Automobile Club or to go to the DMV website. Basically, what will I need to do? 
both buyer and seller need to transfer the ownership by filling out a change of ownership form and signing over their certificate of title, which will be either pink or rainbow. Will I have to pay any fees? All of the transfer fees are the responsibility of the buyer. How much will it cost to transfer the title? The DMV has a special formula that they use to calculate the fees. They will figure it out for you. Do I need a smog certificate? No, only if your car was manufactured before 1975. Where do I take my forms? You can take them to the DMV. You have 10 days to complete the process. Lesson 22, Buying Insurance. Hello, I'm interested in buying auto insurance. Sure, can I help you? Did you bring all of your registration papers? Yes, I brought everything with me. Is your car with you? Yes, it's out in the parking lot. Wonderful. Let's go and check to see what shape it is in. Okay. Can you help me figure out what I should insure my car for? I will look it up on the blue book list and I will factor in its condition. What else do I need to consider? Yes, you need to figure in liability for damage to the other car as well as injury issues as well. Lesson 23, Buying Insurance. Good morning. I need to buy car insurance for the used car I just bought. Yes, no problem. Do you have your registration and certificate of ownership with you? Yes, it's all right here. Did you drive your car here? Yes, it's out in the back. That's great. Well, we'll go out and check the condition of your car. Oh, great. What should I insure my car for? There is a blue book price for your car, and we will use that price. What other things do I need to insure for? We will factor in damage to the other car, as well as property damage and injury. Lesson 24, Buying Insurance. Hi, I just bought a used car and need to insure it. We can take care of that right now. Do you have all of your paperwork with you? Yes, I took care of all that and have the papers with me. Do you bring your car with you? Yes, it's parked on the street. Fine. I need to go out with you to check your car for wear and tear. Okay. How will I know how much I should insure my car for? After looking at your car, I will use the blue book price and we will consider the condition of the car. Are there any other considerations when I insure my car? We always need to think about property damage, damage to other vehicles and injury. Lesson 25, negotiating a price with a student. I am definitely interested in buying this car. Wonderful. It's good to find a person who really needs this car. What is the price for this car? The price I listed on eBay was $5,000. I was thinking that maybe you might be willing to lower the price a bit. You know, I just got a good deal on my new car. I think I can afford to knock a little off of this car. I was thinking that 4000 would be a good price. I couldn't go that low, but I could sell it for 4500 that would work well for me. It's done then. I've enjoyed doing business with you. Lesson 26, negotiating a price with a student. I really love this car. Great. I was hoping that it would go to a driver who appreciates it. How much are you willing to take for this car? As I'm sure you noticed, the price in the window is $5,000. Don't you think you could come down a bit on the price? You seem like a nice person. Maybe I could lower the price a bit. Would you sell it to me for 4000 I am thinking more in the line of 4500 I'll take it then. Perfect. That works for both of us. Lesson 27. Negotiating a price with a student. This car is exactly what I want. I'm glad that you like it. I've had good experiences with this car. So, how much do you want for the car? Well, the price in the paper was $5,000.
Yes, I know, but I think that might be a little high for this car. I might be able to come down a little on the price. How about selling the car for four thousand? No, that's way less than I could accept. However, I could accept forty-five hundred. That sounds fair to me. It's a deal then. Thank you. Lesson twenty-eight: Declining to buy the car. Thank you for letting me test drive the car. So, do you think that you would like to purchase this car? You know, I'm not interested in purchasing the car right now. What's the problem? We can at least sit down and maybe work out a deal. Actually, I have several other cars to look at before I make my decision. What didn't you like about the car? Maybe I can fix something for you. It is a combination of things, but I appreciate your time. I have some other cars you might want to look at. Again, I appreciate your time, but I will not be purchasing this car. Give me a call if you change your mind. Have a good day. Lesson twenty-nine: Declining to buy the car. I appreciate you letting me take the car out for a spin. Why don't you come over here and we can work out the details of the purchase? I don't think this is the car for me at this point in time. It's a great deal. Let's talk price. Maybe you'll change your mind. This is the only the first car that I've looked at. Is there something in particular that didn't look good to you? It isn't one thing in particular, but I think I can do better for my money. I really think that you should reconsider. Thank you again for your time. Thank you for stopping by. Good luck in your search for a car. Lesson thirty: Declining to buy the car. I enjoyed taking the car out for a test drive. Isn't that a great car? Let's work out the details of purchase. I will not be purchasing the car today. Why don't you take a second look at the car? You'll see that it is as good a deal as you are going to get. I need to compare this car to others to make an informed choice. You said on the phone that this is the kind of car you wanted. What has changed your mind? I just really need to make sure that I get the best car for my money. You know, you can look around, but I just don't think that you're going to get a better deal for your money. I will continue looking around for cars, and I will get back to you if I change my mind. Okay then, have a good day. Lesson thirty-one: Test driving the car. Wow, what a cool car! How about taking this car out for a drive to see if you like how it handles? I would enjoy seeing how it handles. While I'm getting the keys, you just need to take out your driver's license and proof of insurance. I found my driver's license and proof of insurance. Here you go. Great. Sign this card. Buckle your seatbelt, and we'll hit the road. I want to take this car up to freeway speed. Take a left at the next signal to enter the freeway. Just keep it under the speed limit. This car has a nice, smooth ride, even on the freeway. You know, I've driven it myself, and I agree with you. Lesson thirty-two: Test driving the car. The styling of this car really appeals to me. Would you like to take this car out for a spin? That would be a great idea. Fine. All I need from you is your driver's license and proof of insurance. I've got my driver's license and proof of insurance ready. Okay. After you sign this card, we'll take a spin. Make sure you buckle your seatbelt. I'd like to go on the freeway to test it for speed. As long as you don't exceed the speed limit, that would be fun. Whoa! This car has wonderful pickup. Yes, this is a very popular car. Lesson thirty-three: Test driving the car. I really love the look of this car. Would you like to test drive this car? Yes, I would love to take it for a drive. I'll go get the keys, and you can get out your driver's license and proof of insurance. Here they are: my driver's license and proof of insurance. 
Well, just sign this card and we'll be on our way. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. Can I take it on the freeway to check for acceleration? That would be fine. Just don't exceed the speed limit. This car handles great. I love it. I'm glad that you like this car. Lesson 34, making an appointment with the DMV. Can you help me figure out how to make an appointment with the DMV? I would try to avoid going into the DMV in person. If you are a member of the automobile club, they oftentimes can take care of things for you, or you can try the DMV website. It would be nice not to have to go in, but if I have to, how do I make an appointment? The easiest way to contact them is online, but they also have a phone number listed on the website if you prefer to call them on the phone. What do they do if you just show up with no appointment? That is not a good way to go. You could be left waiting for many hours and there is no guarantee that they will see you at all. What about going to the DMV on Saturday? For a while, the DMV was open on Saturday, but not anymore. I think that the automobile club idea was a good suggestion. You should check out the automobile club. I think you would enjoy being a member. Lesson 35, making an appointment with the DMV. How can I make an appointment at the DMV? You could check the DMV website or see if the automobile club could help you. Many things can be taken care of without actually going into the DMV in person. How do I make an appointment if I have to actually go in? You have two choices. You can call them at the number listed on their website, or you can contact them online. Can I just walk in and get help? Without an appointment, you will be waiting for many hours. I would not advise it. Can I take care of this on a Saturday? Unfortunately, the DMV is no longer open on Saturdays. It probably would be easier for me to join the automobile club. The automobile club has many benefits, and taking care of your DMV transactions is one of the best benefits. Lesson 36, making an appointment with the DMV. I need to go to the DMV and don't know how to make an appointment with them. First of all, you need to figure out if you really need to be there in person. Sometimes you can take care of your business at the automobile club or at the DMV website. If I do need to go in, how can I make an appointment? You can either make an appointment by going online or by calling the phone number listed on their website. What if I just show up there? If you have all day to wait and a good book to read, that might work for you. Is the DMV open on Saturdays? Due to state budget cuts, the DMV is no longer open on Saturdays. I think that you have just convinced me to join the automobile club. Yes, the automobile club takes all the pain out of DMV transactions. Lesson 37, where to buy a used car. Where's the best place to buy a used car? I have always purchased my used cars from an advertisement in the paper, but actually, you have many options. Where else could I look for a car? You could look on the internet. Craigslist is best, as most of the cars listed there are sold locally. What would be best if I wanted to actually go see a lot of used cars that are for sale? The best place is CarMax, which is a very large used car lot. Where is CarMax? There are many of them. You can look on the internet or in the phone book for the one closest to you. How about the listings on the college bulletin board? Actually, that is not a bad way to go, especially near the end of the semester as students are moving away. Lesson 38, where to buy a used car. Can you help me figure out the best place to buy a used car? There are a lot of different ways to go. I bought my last one from an advertisement in the paper. What are my other options for looking for a used car? Mm, internet listings are good. Craigslist is pretty good because most of the cars are sold locally. 
I think that I might actually like to see many used cars together so I can compare them. The biggest used car lot is CarMax. I would check that place out. How can I find out where CarMax is? Uh, look in the phone book or on the internet for the one closest to you. There are a lot of them. Have you ever seen the listings on the school bulletin board? Yeah, the school bulletin board can have some great deals, as many students sell their cars before they return home or as they get better paying jobs. Lesson 39, where to buy a used car. Where did you buy your last used car? I found my last one in an advertisement in the newspaper, but there are a lot of other places to look for used cars. Besides an advertisement, what else could I do to find a used car? My friend bought his used car off of Craigslist. It works out better than eBay because the cars listed are located close by. Is there anywhere I can go to see many used cars all in the same place? Go to CarMax if you want to see the largest selection of used cars in one place. I don't know where CarMax is. Oh, CarMax has many car lots in many cities. For the one closest to you, check out the internet or phone book. Have you ever known anyone who bought a car off a listing on the university bulletin board? You can get a good deal there, especially at the end of the year when students are selling things and returning home.